Rutgers. Boise State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Nice run there. He's on the run. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Quick thinking here by the quarterback to not only avoid the pressure, but also avoid throwing the ball into coverage. To top it off, he reached the marker. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Down he goes at the 45-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. They go to the left for a nice game. On the tackle. Gain of four on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Mike 13, Mike 13. And now he's got room to run. He makes his way to about the 32. From the 32-yard line, first down. He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Now he tries to buy some time. No one opens, so he's going to run. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. two-yard line. Touchdown, Ducks! Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. So our score, 7-0. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boise State's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Right over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Zips it to the tight end. Gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. Second down, less than a yard. Ball on the 35. Makes it out to about the 46. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. On play action. Fires it out. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. Number 27 on the tackle at the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. Four down, four down. Watch 85. Ball going 85. Watch 
Motion, motion. He scrambles. Fires quickly to the tight end. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. Number 48 makes the tackle at the 29-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Hey, we're going to Mike the 48 right now. Let's go. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. We got it. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. No big on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Intercepts. No, he dropped it. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's hit and taken down. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. So they're going to go for it here. Runs right for a nice game. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Go! Motion! Motion, motion, motion! motion. Many offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Seven yards. That'll, That'll bring, bring up second, second and three. three. And this is the tenth play of the drive. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Touchdown, Broncos. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. An 11 play, 75 yard drive. And they put up seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. It's third and 15. Ball on the 20. Mike 13, Mike 13. You ain't going nowhere. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of 11 yards on That makes it fourth and long. We played one. We're even at seven in this one. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. He really got a hold of that one. 
Oh, he got nailed on that one. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From the 46-yard line, second down. Delayed handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. First and ten after the big pass play. Four down, four down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, go back to 48 right now. Let's go. Right. Run, 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 run. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That's a gain of nine. That brings up second and one. Tax on the extra point. Boise State kicked this one off. He sends this one deep. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Go the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. Mike 13, Mike 13. Here we go. Six yards that time on the pass play. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's tackled at the 30. That'll bring up fourth and five. And this one is a beauty. Brought down at the 22-yard line. The Broncos, over the years, have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them. Because, it's, again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership. And that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22. Boise State is up seven. He's taken down at the 28. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. They come out in an empty backfield. Throws complete. He's got space to work. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. He 
was tackled at about the 39 yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First down. From the 40-yard line, first down. Oh, yeah, and here we go again. Here we go again. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. That's a team. First down. Three down, right. Tight end right. Three down, three down. Hey, look, 48. Hey, 48. Hey, 48. Just throws this one away. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Boise State up seven points. Go. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. And here's another third down. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. There's the junior cornerback making a very solid stop. Anytime your corners can contribute like that against the run, it gives your defense another advantage. Pressured and brought down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they bring him down at the 39-yard line. Great run by the back there. He could have gone all the way. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Oregon! Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he converts the extra point. So a five-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for a defense. So the score now, 17-14. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Boise State is up a field goal. And he 
can't get away from the pressure. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. down right around the 34 so at the end of the half Boise State leads it 17 14 glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. and. You know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Boise State has a three-point lead. Catches it, and that's all. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlights real on each play. That brings up second and five. Second and five, hey, look, man, ball on their own 30. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Tackles him hard at the 23. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Boise State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by... And now the ball is loose. And they fall on the loose ball. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, After reviewing review the, the play, play.
the ruling the on the on field, the field is, is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Mike's 13, Mike's 13. He's Ready, flash, hot. Tackled after decent pickup. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Makes it out to about the 39. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good. Two times, two times. That makes it second and two. And down he goes at the 36. The D line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. So we're looking at another third down here. Decent run here, right side. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it fourth and two. Mike 13, Mike 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll bring him down at the 27. A risky call going for it, but it paid off. That showed some real composure there by this offense. Complete across the middle. And they make the stop at the nine. And he's taken down at the nine yard line. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Touchdown, Ducks! He splits the uprights with the extra point. up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they'll get him in the backfield. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Grabs it and hammered right there. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball.
from their own 38 yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we go Mike the 48. Go, go, go. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Let's go, let's go! Hey, alert 48! Hey, we go Mike the 48! Go. There he goes! Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48! Hey, we go Mike the 48 right now. Let's go! Three down! Throws complete, he's got room to work. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gun. Gain of four on the play. play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Tight right, tight right. Solo out there, check the outs out there. Four down, four down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, hey, He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the 14 yard line. That's good for him. First down. Head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Ducks lead it by four. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to Mike the 48 right now. Let's go. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the eight yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and They're about four yards away here on second down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we go Mike the 48 right now. Gets to about the five-yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires quickly and he's got his man. That's his third toss for a score. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. Boise State, the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He fights forward to about the 26. Call it a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Mike 13. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Rally. 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 Tackle made at the 23-yard line. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. That brings up third and 12. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. Mike 13, 
Mike 13. He's coming, he's coming. Ready. Crunch time. Quick roll to the back, it's incomplete. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That makes it fourth and 12. Everybody up close, it looks like they're coming after this kick. Oh, excellent punt. He showed a good burst there. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Boise State is up by three. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 43-yard line. sailed on him. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 43. Tackle at the 46-yard line. it away and it's a great kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback both teams realize that when the ball is snapped we're one play away from a very different ball game just under two to go in the game he's scrambling and they got him Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44 yard line. Flushed and they got him. That'll make it second and long. Let's go! Black 98! Black 98! He's gonna try and scramble. Runs with it and he's got room. Brought down at the 47. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Scrambling around. He's at the 30, and he's level at the 29-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Under a minute left in the game. The spike will stop the clock. 
to get back in this game here in the fourth. This third and goal is vital. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And it's caught. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Throws a bullet over the middle. What a play, and that is first and goal. Under pressure. And he is drilled at the four. That brings him second. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes his third and goal. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. And he hits him hard at the two-yard line. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. Oregon's out of timeouts. The kick is up. We're going to OT. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. Well, we played an hour and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. 34, eyes on 34. Hey, alert 48. Okay. Green nine, green nine. <laughs> Makes it to the 22 yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 19. Fires it out, and they make the stop around the 17-yard line. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. It's up, and it is good. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. From the 37 yard line, second down. Six man. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Ready! Aaron and out long. Great throw, great catch. What a great play. Tremendous effort to take advantage of the defense holding them to a field goal. They knew they were going to have a chance to win this, and they came through. Just a fantastic finish. And that's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, Oregon 30, Boise State 27. The Broncos 27. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.